All right, all right, man. Salute to Alex Perea, man. And no controversy in the ending of UFC 295. No controversy at all. You can go to uh, Yuri Prohaska and get his opinion on it. Because in his post fight, he stated that he was out. And he had no issues with the stoppage. So salute to him for keeping it 100, 100 about what happened, what transpired in this fight. Because anybody looking at it was like, damn, what the ref stopping him for? But he was out on his feet and he admitted to it. Um, salute to Alex Perea, you know, second division where he becomes a champion and he got it done in two rounds. Nice elbows landed perfectly and he ensured those elbows weren't landing at the back of the head. He angled it while he's up against the cage, getting right to the side of that noggin and that ultimately dropped him, dude. But what set it up is uh, Prohaska landing a big right hand on um, on Perea and it sent Perea walking back towards the cage with his hands down and Prohaska not utilizing the jab looking to throw that right hand again gets countered with a right hook then a left hook come up under the underneath and catch him right on the chin and Perea has dynamite in his fist and he dropped the guy the guy still uh battled through he got a, got a lock behind the back and was trying to go for a double leg and he was getting hit with the elbows dropped him he fell backwards. Perea was on top of him. And ref immediately stopped it because the ref seen that he was hurt and the guy admitted that he was out. So he he really didn't know what was going on, even though after uh, the ref separated him, he was immediately starting to try to get to his feet. But he was out of it. But uh, that's all I got, man. Great call by the ref. No controversy. Peace.